Saturday, June 3rd in the year 2017. Dirt Bike Race Track Langensteinbach in Eastern Germany. Sergio Villapuca, a friend of mine, is registered to the 24 hours race. I am here with my camera for reporting from the race. The racetrack Langensteinbach lies nearby Penig in the area of Chemnitz. The arrival of Sergio's team on Friday afternoon from southwest Germany was tough. They had a lot of motorway traffic. My journey was much more relaxed on my motorcycle cruising over country roads. The 24 hours race Langensteinbach is a license free race for riders of enduro and motocross motorcycles. The starters are divided into three classes. Class 4, four riders on four motorcycles. In class 2, there are two riders on two vehicles. And in the solo class, single riders start on only one machine at a time. The winner is who completes the most laps in 24 hours. This here is an akkubetriebene kleine Lampe und sollte nachts irgendwas passieren und das Motorrad geht aus, äh, würde ich gesehen. <lacht> Wird irgendeine mich sehen. Sergio Villapuca and his team colleague Mark Huse start in solo class. 24 hours at a time. They and their two motorbikes have to endure if they want to win. Sergio grew up in Swaziland, where the dirt bike riding was put into his cradle. Swaziland is a small kingdom bordering to South Africa and Mozambique. In 1999, Sergio founded an off-road club called Swazi Cowboys. Sergio lives in Germany since more than 10 years. In 2009, he has founded the company Swazi Cowboys, which sells innovative off-road products. Since 2016, he also offers guided dirt bike tours through Swaziland, together with friend Danny, also born and raised in Swaziland. Both have been riding motorcycles their whole lives. For the planning and execution of the Swazi Cowboys off-road tours, the two friends have brought together their knowledge about the country and people, culture and landscapes. Sergio and team colleague Mark share one common box and one helper. Here you can see Helper Max, he's the guy in the white t-shirt. He's a mechanic, handler and supporter in all matters. The three guys want to tough out the 24 hours together. Of course with the goal that one of the both racers will win the solo class. In classes 2 and 4, the drivers alternate and have the opportunity to rest. Their motorcycles can be serviced, cleaned and refueled meanwhile. Motorcycles can also be exchanged within the teams. However, the riders of the solo class have to go through the 24 hours all by themselves on the same motorcycle. A motorbike exchange is not permitted. Ja, wir sind äh, durch mit der technischen Abnahme. Ähm, gleich geht's los und die Gänsehaut fängt an. <lacht> ich freue mich. Es wird richtig Spaß machen. Oh yeah. <lacht> Ja, ich glaube, jetzt kann man nichts mehr machen. <lacht> Nein, ich werde auf jeden Fall. Ich, ich pushe so auf hey, fünf Fall. Komm ich im Fernsehen mit? <lacht> Schleife übertragen. Bei dir im Wohnzimmer. Class 4 starts at 12 o'clock.
Class 2 follows a few minutes later. Lastly, it is the turn of the class 1 with the solo riders. Benzin hand auf. Yeah.
first lap is completed. Our Swazi Cowboy with the starting number 18 passes the time measurement for the first time. A few minutes later the table shows an intermediate result as follows. Sergio is at the forefront. He is ranked on position 6 in the solo class. The deficit to the leader is only 51 seconds. Team colleague Mark with the starting number 27 is still not listed because he has not yet passed the measurement at this time. Riders are struggling with the racetrack. In the pit lane, they also keep working hard.
2 p.m. After two hours of racing distance, it is time for a pit stop for refueling, for minor maintenance work and also for a small break. As soon as possible he goes back to the racetrack again. But it doesn't always work out right away. Sergio will soon notice that he has forgotten his safety glasses. Good cause that the cameraman is here. Quickly I run back into the box. After my sporting performance, I need a Solyanka. Delicious! This Russian sausage soup is offered to the visitors. p.m. After a short time the racetrack is underwater. Many riders come into the pit lane. The time can be used more wisely in the box than on the racetrack. A little later, the race management announces that the race is interrupted. At the earliest, at 6 pm, they want to announce how it will continue. For the solo drivers, this means a welcome break with equal chances. The box is badly located in a sink that has filled up with rainwater. The team decides to move the box. A small gap is available to the neighbor team, which can be used. Uh, 
Half past 4 p.m. The heavy rain pauses. The waiting time is used for maintenance. The air filters are renewed, which have get chocked with dust and sand during the first four hours. Now we have to wait for continuing. We pay a visit to the four teams by the Motorsport Club Frickenhausen. Nothing is missing here. We are best served with coffee and delicacies. Let's take a look at the interim results. Sergio is the leader. The advantage to the second Mike Uhe is only 33 seconds. Tony Pampel is close to the heels with a gap of less than one lap. The follower field has a gap of more than a full lap. Team colleague Mark is currently on position 19 with a gap of four laps. His lap times are good, but he had longer standings in the box. He has real chances for a good result at the end of the race. As it continues to rain, I also try to use the waiting time meaningfully. Seven thirty PM. Instead of rain crackling, I hear engine noise from afar. The race continues. The race management has adapted the race course. Sections which have become not rideable have been removed. The lap distance has thus been shortened and the difficulty has been reduced. But the main thing is that the race goes on.
At 8.19 p.m. Sergio is in position 1 and has made a 4 minute lead. Mark fights forward pressing and is now in position 14. Geht es jetzt 24 Stunden lang so, oder? Leider. Nicht mehr. Nee, nicht mehr. <lacht> jetzt bin ich schon bei Leider. Am Anfang war es noch cool. Hey, wie dunkel das in dem Wald da oben ist. Ja. Ohne Licht. Hey. Ja, wenn ich jetzt hier wieder nicht schon pinkeln, dann bin ich weg. Okay. Ja. p.m. After only one lap, Mark comes back into the box. The nightfall makes his sight difficult. Nee, das streut so. Du, du hast kein, kein Sichtfeld, also kein Fokus. The previously installed lamp proves to be a faulty decision. So it will be rebuilt. A better lamp will be installed. For this purpose, the cables must be soldered.
At 10 after 10, Sergio also comes into the box to mount an additional lamp. It's much faster with him. Screws and mounting points are already prepared. The lamp has a plug connection. Fuel and food intake are done by the way. Hey, wenn man sehen kann, dann geht es richtig cool. Ne? Aber wenn man nichts sehen kann, dann ist es echt scheiße. Tja. At the time measurement before this pit stop, Sergio had a lead of two laps on the second place. In less than a quarter of an hour, Sergio is back on the racetrack. He could have lost just one lap of the lead. It's midnight, half time. Sergio's advance is now 5 laps. Mark is in position 14. The last lap time of 44 minutes may result by a longer pit stop. In the interim overall result of all classes, Sergio's solo team is ranked on position 23. A passable achievement. Remember that 2 and 4 teams have a clear time advantage, as drivers and machines alternate while the solo drivers lose valuable racing time at any interruption. Two thirty-eight am Sergio's lead has been lost due to the current break. But the other competitors must also pause some time. Mark has made two places and is now in position 12. Now I'm going to sleep for a few hours. Mm. 5 a.m. Sergio has regained a lead of three laps and Mark has prevailed to place nine. Respect! My desire to get up while it pisses so much is strictly limited. They will do the race as well without me. It's now half past six. In the past few hours, the most important thing was tactics. One team looks at the others. If the competitors are still pausing, I can also take a break. The riders of the upper placements may have thought this, I suggest. When Sergio finished his sleep to win this race, the interim result table shows an advantage of one hour. A deceptive value. After all, Tony Pumpel, the second place rider, has the same number of laps. The number of the laps applies, but not the time. Ja, die Nummer 8 ist jetzt auf Platz 1. Hat 56 Runden jetzt absolviert. Du hast, du hast 54 Runden. Tony Pumpel senses his victory chances, continues his race and goes into the lead. For Sergio this means now a catch-up hunting.
At 7.30 a.m. Sergio's deficit is still 20 minutes. Tony Pumpel with the starting number 8 and Sergio Villapruca with the starting number 18 now deliver a hard fight for position 1. Just one lap later Sergio caught up. Only two minutes behind. The long lap time of the leader suggests a pit stop. Mark remains bravely on position 9. Cheer guys, keep up and hold on. Virtually it was just a short fuel stop, but in fact this. The rear wheel at such a spike is loose. The wheel bearing is broken. I'm out, is Sergio's spontaneous reaction, before he decides to mount a spare wheel. In this way, he loses a lot of time. Of course, the team in the box vis-a-vis -vis recognized this circumstance. It's the box of the competitor with the starting number 8. Tony Pampel might now feel more confident to win the race. Nein, das ist, das ist nicht. Jetzt. Das ist But Sergio has still chances as well. The competitor's chances are continuity and endurance. However, his lap times are noticeably longer. On the track, he rides slowly. Sergio has overtaken him already a few times, as he tells. The first lap since the repair is completed. His glasses are exchanged quickly because he has taken the wrong ones in the box, which were not clean. Eigentlich doch noch ganz gut, oder? Ich bin gerade aber auch schon drüber gefahren. Mark does not ride any further. In terms of course and weather conditions, he prefers to support his team colleague to win the race. The open end question is, on which position Mark will be ultimately. In the following scenes, it is easy to see how different lap times are produced. You can slide down the hump like this. Or even like this. <laughs> Meanwhile in the pit lane, the teams have improvised a chicanery in order to be no more sprayed full with muddy water. 
paused by riders passing in high speed. Now we'll see Tony Pumple with the starting number 8 in the orange raincoat. His smooth and slow riding style is clearly visible. At half past 10 the next cloud burst. Sergio is still the leader. The rain is getting stronger, storm comes up. Tents and pavilions intend to be blown away. 
A little later the race management announces the breakup of the race. At 11 o'clock the race will be finished. At 10 to 11 the riders are informed by their teams that they have their last lap in front. <laughs> Sergio, however, decides not to ride his last lap. He comes back into the pit lane. He seems to be confident that his advance is enough for the victory. But is it true? According to my information, the advance is only one full lap. Considering the broken brakes at the front as well as at the rear, his decision is surely sensible. The sandy mud has constantly grinded the brake pads. Brake pads are no longer existent. Then the certainty. At the end of the race, Sergio is in the first position. As well, the competitor on position 2 appears for congratulation. Not, however, without expressing his doubts about the rightfulness of the victory. At the Saale river on Sunday evening, I let my tent, shoes and clothes dry in the sun. Congratulations to you Sergio for your victory. I say thank you for your sporting efforts. Your victory is a gift to your family, to the MSC Frickenhausen and last but not least to my film, which tells your success story.